So our intelligent capabilities are aspects of the platform that make life easier for the analyst. For example, location analytics. The Spotfire instant maps provide more comprehensive connections between data and location. This is going to help you understand data at finer detail. This is also known as geoanalytics. Let's take a look at some examples. We can handle multiple types of layers within the mapping capabilities in Spotfire. Combining one or two or three of these layers are going to give you amazing insights into your data. I have a set of maps here. Each of these maps is showing a combination of layers. In this case, for example, a marker layer for, to highlight specific store locations, for example. Then I have a map layer on the background that is similar to what I get when I go to Google Maps or something like that. But I am also showing a TMS layer that is giving me additional information. Each of these examples is a combination of these layers. Now we have many options in terms of WMS and TMS, and I invite you to take a look at the Geoanalytics resources page from the TIPCO community that is going to have a more detailed explanation of the things that you can accomplish when you are creating this type of uh, visualizations in Spotfire. Multiple of these resources are free and you can easily have access to that. This is an example of the URL that you will need and this is how you are going to set that URL to work. So from the properties, go to the layer option and in TMS, go to settings, copy and paste the URL from the TIPCO community page and then you are ready to go. Now, in addition to WMS, TMS, market layers, shape files, and all of that, we can also handle multiple, multiple coordinate reference systems. So in this case, I'm showing an example of two different representations of the same data, something more spherical or something more plain, flat. In this case, go to properties and you will see in appearance all the coordinate reference systems that we support within a Spotfire under this menu tab. Okay. Now let's take a look of an example of a real life uh, geoanalytics use case. In this case, we are talking about retail data. We have multiple clients with uh, shopping behaviors and we created a k-means clustering here with a k-means uh, option that you have with one click of the mouse in a spotfire and we are seeing very clear clusters for this group especially clusters three and four that are showing kind of an opposite behavior so in this case if i select this group of people I can see that they are coming from outside Paris. So this is France and this is Paris here. And we have the uh, suburbs of the rest houses that are actually improving their gardens. So this group of guys are actually buying a lot of gardening material. Now, if we select a completely different set of uh, clients, in this case, they have been classified as cluster number four because they have very similar behaviors and we can see that gardening is definitely not the priority of this group of people, but instead they are very into decoration things. So geographically, we can see that this is very close to Paris and they actually have different priorities when they go shopping. Now, Spotfire also has geocoding capabilities. So if you have a set of uh, addresses, for example, in your data table, and you want to work with that information from a map perspective, you will need the latitude and the longitude. So this is uh, an example of forward geocoding, where you are contacting or sending the request to the TIPCO geoanalytics server and the server is going to send back the table with the added latitude and longitude columns so you can actually visualize the data on a map. The geocoding for uh, TIPCO Spotfire is going to work forward, reverse, 
or batch when you have multiple uh, rows of data with multiple addresses. Now, in addition to these, the geoanalytics capabilities also include routing capabilities and trade area capabilities. So the routing capabilities are going to be useful to compute routes and distances. So you provide the start and the end location and the server is going to send back the routing options. <clears throat> now in the trade area capabilities, you can send to the server a specific location and you are going to receive back the trade area by drive distance or by walk distance or by uh, how long it's going to take in minutes, for example, depending on what you want to do. So let's say you have the location for your store and you want to investigate if that is a good location for you. So you don't have any overlaps with any other stores that are providing the same services. So you know that nobody likes to drive more than five miles for a coffee. Therefore, everything that is five miles around this X and Y latitude and longitude location is going to be useful for me. And here I have a spot where I can actually put an offer and uh, have a new store to provide coffee. That's a quick example. Now, in addition to this, we can always uh, go deeper into the analytics path. Now we have the location, now we have basic uh, color by, shape by, multiple variables from our data table, and perhaps we are ready to move on into something that is more advanced within the analytics. So let's say you want to apply a machine learning uh, mm, model to your data and move forward with the geoanalysis. In this case, we have two parts. If you are a programmer and you think like a programmer, you are going to write a script. Locally, we can ingest multiple of uh, the programming languages through a data function. If you are not sure what a data function is, I recommend you to Google what is a data function and Catalina Herrera in YouTube is going to give you an answer. It's going to show you a video that walks you step by step through the answer. Or if you actually think more like a citizen data science where you know what the goal is, you know what you want to accomplish, you know what the model that you need it's going to be, but uh, you need to put it together with everything that you have done in Spotfire. Then we have a slightly different path where we can use the Statistica white canvas or the Spotfire data science uh, platform options. And at the same time, if you are not sure how to use it, I recommend you to Google Tipco Analytics Portfolio by Catalina Herrera so you can see a video that is going to walk you through an entire solution using this option here. But when you combine all of these capabilities, <clears throat> you can actually go way deeper into your geoanalysis. Now you can combine what if scenarios, you can add variables to text areas that are connected to your actual model, and you can change things here and there to have, for example, optimal or smart routing capabilities where we are defining what is the best and the best option for leverage the power of your trucks, for example, when you have a, a specific number of distribution centers that you have to hit and you have a specific capacity that you also have to consider within the variables. So within all the options that I have to get from point A to, to point B, the server, the geoanalytics and the um, data science combined are going to give me my optimal solution to these kind of problems. So to conclude, the Spotfire maps and all the geoanalytics that you can actually accomplish with all the Spotfire capabilities are unique and they're going to give you insights that are otherwise impossible to go farther within your analysis and your data. So they're going to help you uh, to generate insights and make predictions and it will be way more complete and robust when you have this kind of information added into your analysis.